In World War II, the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force fought the same war, but they built two very different warriors. The Army had to take millions of civilians and turn them into soldiers fast. Many arrived barely literate. So the Army taught reading the same way it taught shooting, quickly, practically, and for survival. Maps Manuals Written orders under fire Education didn't replace discipline. It made discipline work. The Air Force faced a different problem. You couldn't train pilots or air crews to catch up later. They had to understand the machine before they ever left the ground. Flight manuals, navigation charts, radar, math. Mistakes didn't cost seconds, they cost aircraft. So the Air Force filtered early. Higher education wasn't a bonus. It was a requirement. After the war, the gap widened. The Air Force doubled down on systems, technology, and technical education. Engineers, technicians, planners. The Army focused on people, especially NCOs, training leaders who could think and adapt in chaos. Then came Desert Shield and Desert Storm. In 1991, Air Force crews fought in data, satellites, precision targeting, real-time command and control. Army units fought in motion, reading digital maps, executing mission command, making decisions under uncertainty. Two models. One battlefield. Precision met adaptability. Systems met people. And the lesson still stands today.